The squeeze on Britain's young people is leading many to wonder if they are destined to become a lost generation. What should the government do to empower the rising number of educated but unemployed youth? And how can a path be set for a more stable future? If government or if society doesn't provide for some basic things, like the ability to sort of you know start your life without massive amounts of debt, with the ability to sort of have a place to live, um, then people find it increasingly difficult to do the basic things. Uh, and if the basic things cost a lot, then people don't take those risks because they're too worried about what will happen if something goes wrong. They'll lose everything. It's more than just verbal attacks. It's more than people facing discrimination at work or facing insults or slights by people around them, what's called microaggressions. It's also more than physical attacks, hate crimes and those sorts of things. Islamophobia is these things and people do experience verbal and physical attacks. A chemistry teacher from Manchester has been jailed for a minimum of four years for planning to travel to Syria to fight alongside Islamic State. Jamshed Jabit, who's 30, was arrested at the to hear him say that I'm not bothered if they lock me up that's exactly what what's happened today and, and we were hearing oh come on yeah don't let them leave okay that meeting is really important we've got to do that yeah we've got to sign that contract today don't let them leave all right I'm on my way what the hell are you doing can you not see what you're it's doing? It's your bloody fault, we're just riding our bike. You could have got your shot out, man. Hey, let's go. You want to watch where you're going? Bloody kids. Unbelievable. Hello, where are you? I told you I was stuck in traffic. Oh, you're joking. All right. All right. I swear that's the car that tried to kill you. Yeah, it is. Stop, stop, stop. Wait. What are you going to do? I'm going to key it. Oi! What? what are you doing? Are you mad? Shut up. Right, look at this, look at this. What's up? Yeah, watch this. Oi! You little tight! Oi! Asian lad, mate. Asian? Yeah. I'm sorry. I saw a young boy grab a bag out there. I tried chasing him, but they were pushbikes. Oh, mate, it's not your fault. Thanks for trying. Bloody pecky. I can get your window fixed if you want. Seriously? What now? Yeah, a friend of mine. If he's local, shouldn't be a problem. Oh, thanks, pal. Listen, I'll give him a call. Just stay around here or something, yeah? One bit of good news. Yes, and it should only take 20 minutes to sort out. Oh, you lifesaver, thank you. That's not a problem. Have a seat then. I'll be honest with you. 
Things like that never used to happen around here. This used to be a nice area. Safe and all, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I lived here practically my whole life. My nan, she's lived here even longer. And she don't stop telling me how much it's changed. I think things are getting worse and worse. What have you done now? <laughs> it wasn't me, man. How you doing? What? You're right. good. How are you? Yeah. Uh, took the bag. Bloody Muslim kids. Tell me about it. Uh, some lovely fella helped me. Some guys had his car broken into by some kids. Yeah, I'll give you a call when I'm on route, okay? Shouldn't be long. All right, darling. Bye. Thanks for coming out. I really appreciate it. No problem. It's what I do. If you guys want to just crack on and do what you're doing, I'll, I'll sort this right out, yeah? Okay, thanks a lot. Bless you. Well, listen, I really appreciate it. You really got me out of trouble there. No, it's okay. Massive Don't mention it. I think things are getting worse and worse. I mean, 20 years ago, Asians couldn't even walk around this area. But now, got Muslims on our doorstep, you know? Like, they own the place. I just don't get it. You hate us so much, then why be here? You never think something like that's going to happen to you. I just take it as a sign things are getting worse. How do you mean? Well, you know that fellow outside? He said the kid what done it was Asian, Pakistani. So he's got to be Muslim, right? It's like they got no respect for humanity. You know, they're just horrible people, evil. Come on. Hey, do you know how you owe me one, right? Yes, I was hoping you forgot about that one. Yeah, I bet you were. Do you mind doing the job for me and just like, just taking a little something for your petrol? And you report it, right? Nah, it's a waste of time, eh? Don't go charging him, right? Oh, come on now, what do you think I am? Mark, thank you so much, thank you. How are we doing then? Yeah, all done, mate, just polishing oh, it off, you know. Oh, bother, it needs a clean anyway. Yeah. Well, shame I couldn't do anything about a scratch. Right. So, what do I owe you? Oh, nothing, it's been covered. What do you mean it's been covered? been covered. Mohammed covered it for you before he left. Mohammed? Yeah. Mohammed, the guy you were here with earlier. Is this a wind-up? I thought he was English. <laughs> he is. Converted to Islam about eight years ago now. It's changed him for the better, really. You should have seen him before. Anyway, I reckon that's you about done, Neil. You take care now, yeah? Messenger of God, Muhammad, may God's peace and blessings be upon him, said, Fear God wherever you are, and follow up a bad deed with a good deed, and it will erase it. And behave towards the people with good character, 